band is kind of, you know, you made such kind of an intricate album, and, you know, I guess it was, you know, there was a lot of work went into the studio. And, uh, how do you find events like this? Because you kind of pretty much back up against kind of plugging in and going on and playing, aren't you? Yeah, that's great. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just nice to be raw and just do it and make mistakes and not care about it. Yeah, yeah. So we treat that's... live shows totally different to making the record. Yeah. It's a lot raw and stripped down and yeah, it rocks, we think. <laughs> so how does it work? Were you kind of, I mean, you know, kind of, the band went through various kind of stages when you were developing and um, Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, I think like, like raw in the early days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It was just a three-piece at the start. I was nothing to do with it. But... Yeah. No, it was just three of us playing pretty much um, um, melodic, more jangly side of the yeah. album, like tracks like Hey Girl New and Heaven and that. And then um, Aaron, who's Greg's brother, like um, at the time of living together, and so we had him like blasting out the steel drum riff from Wonderlust from his room and just loved it to bits and sort of kind of mixed up the track and the rest is history. So. Yeah. Oh man. Oh yeah. <laughs> Honestly, kidding. you wouldn't believe how much touring we've done. This, um, it's, which has held us in great stead, you know what I mean? Because the people that love us now or like us uh, have been there from when yeah. we were going and playing to people uh, up in Stramra to like four people. You know what I mean? And, yeah. and it's that that's how this, I mean, that's probably the reason we're not replacing it as well. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not standing instead for things like this because, you know, we can't just go on and play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. I think, totally, um, I don't know, I think a lot of people, not take us more serious, but a lot of people like the fact that we actually got a decent point from gigging and gigging and gigging. It's only really over the last couple of months that the press have actually sort of yeah. noticed we exist, sort of thing. Which is really great because we yeah we built up our audience we're playing to people and then bringing more people next time we play. Yeah. I think that there's no there's no accusations of us being like a press hype. Plus I think that's a good way to do it as well because I mean if 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 someone comes and sees you live and they like your music on the back of that, I think that's easier than the other way around. If you get a record that you think yeah that's great and then you go and see them and they're just rubbish. And you get to play to genuine music fans as well, rather than people who turn up because you like flavour the month or whatever. And it seems to be people do tend to kind of pass it kind of back and fast you now, like the proper way. So, yeah. But it's, it's kind of, is there still the industry there? And kind of, I think the venues there are starting to die out. I think that the re- a lot of the reason people are having to do that is because the record company money's not there as it was. You know what I mean? People are like, can't just chuck it away. So, I mean, I know you don't make much money when you tour, you don't make anything, you know what I mean? You just chuck money away, but I think people are getting back to that because, like, because they have to. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. now you say you're kind of a raw about life, you think you're kind of, are they going to try and combine the two for the next album? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's still going to sound like us, but, I mean, we've never sat down and said, right, let's make a garage rock record. Yeah. We never would, do you know what I mean? Yeah. But, I mean, it's just... It's just hap- it's weird, do you know what I mean? We've got a, like a synthetic steel drum on a song. That's just, do you know what I mean? It's just, and it turned yeah. out to sound cool. So like that, it just happens. So we've already, it. yeah, we've already recorded two tracks for the next album, and they are a bit raw, definitely. But it's not something we decided to do. Yeah. It's just, it just happens. <laughs> I see. It's important to kind of think outside what you might see in the parameters. No, oh, yeah. Yeah, no, we want as many people as possible to hear our music and hopefully love it or think it's rubbish. Do you know what I mean? Don't want them to think it's okay at all. But to get... To, I want everybody, all those people over there, I want to hear us. Do you know what I mean? And so fingers crossed it will happen.